Hey guys, welcome to GK videos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to install SecureMind application and configure it on the Lenovo EMC NAS device. For my demonstration, I'm using a PX4 300D device. Uh, you can download uh, the SecureMind application from www.securemind.mindreader.com. I've already downloaded the application and uh, I'll just go ahead and install it uh, you know, as part of the demonstration. The SecureMind application uh, is being used for video surveillance. Uh, using SecureMind application, you can actually save network camera recordings on the NAS device. So go to Application Manager, Add Application, browse the file where you have downloaded. So I'll just go back and browse that file. All right. Now double click. Click on Upload. So this would install the secure mind application on my px4 300d device so now it's still processing by default secure mind uh, provides single camera license for free and uh, you can purchase additional licenses from secure mind support so now the application is installed now let me check where that icon is secure mine surveillance manager okay so here is the icon once i click the application opens up so few things uh, we need to keep in mind when setting up for the first time obviously it's going to take some time because the application opens up and it loads it'll take time and uh, while playing the live videos uh, the plugins might load load uh, from all the you know computers and uh, you know we need to fix those things first uh, in order to configure it properly so uh, sometimes the live videos would not show up because of the media plugins would not load so now the license agreement I'll just go ahead and agree it now the setup configuration so this page where first we need to set up the video location where we gonna storage location where we have to save the files so now I'll select the volume test and uh, the new share name so this is where the recordings are gonna store and the recording days maximum 180 days you can keep or you can just mention as many days you want to keep the recordings then it would actually start recording and it will delete the old recordings now the redirection is where now if you don't want to access the NAS web console then op open up the application you can click on uh, check this box so that the next time you access the NAS uh, IP address, it will redirect to the secure mind application directly. Then the storage space available and uh, the option I want to restore to earlier configuration. Let's say you have used uh, secure mind all earlier and you have the configuration. You can actually uh, use that configuration to set this application. So now I've just click down finish it would take some time for now to update all the files in the application and uh, since secure mind also uses uh, you know it will consume uh, the NAS CPU and memory sometimes you have a high-end device but there are a lot of uh, you know shares being created and being accessed by multiple users so you might see some performance issue and or let's say you have a lot of cameras which are you know processing uh, high IOs in those cases uh, sometimes you would see the latency or maybe you know uh, the application might not perform as expected something like that but for me uh, since it's single camera it would not take you know that much uh, memory or CPU or stuff like that so now I don't see any camera because it could not uh, discover anything so all I can do right now is to add my camera manually so I'll just go ahead and add uh, my camera which is already uh, configured and um, it's in DC in a rack so now the manufacturer I have access camera so I just go ahead and select access here all right so now the IP address of the camera then I need to enter uh, the username of the camera and uh, the password let me click on up and fail to establish all right the password is wrong 
I'll just go ahead and add the right password click on add again and now this time it should be able to communicate so as I was mentioning uh, the securement applications comes with single uh, camera license permanent and if you would like to purchase more you can purchase from the support so now these are this is the camera details which has been added now schedule recording uh, I can schedule recordings by time and date or uh, I can just keep it activity activity recording this is where if there is any movement happens that is where the recordings happen now the email alerts I can configure like send to email uh, SMTP server and a sender email address so if you have a SMTP server you can configure and these are the alerts which you would, it would uh, the NAS would send or the securement application would send in case of failure now configure maps this is where the location of the camera and uh, the system IO for the uh, inputs of the camera stuff like that but that's grayed out anyway now this is the live view which you can see right now the mul um, the multimedia plugin is not being loaded I'll just go ahead and allow it and it will take some time to load so it depends on the browser you are using and sometimes the browser might not support and the plugin might not be uh, the latest version or your antivirus or something you know any other application which might be using and that will be causing the problem so now my camera is loading now I can see the live view right now and uh, the camera since it is installed on a DC in a rack and next to the rack actually there is a you know door if somebody opens up if I'm lucky right now I can show you the live video uh, I'm not sure if somebody moves up but I hope that somebody opens up the uh, uh, a door next to the uh, uh, where camera is installed and maybe I can show you some so okay nobody is moving from there now this is the playback so here what happens if you have a recordings you can go to the earlier dates and time select and uh, you can search for those recordings by date and time and you can play those uh, recordings so but since I've just installed the camera and there is no activity happened so far I'll not be able to demonstrate this feature right now but you have uh, recordings you can actually play from here anybody's moving no boy all right so settings the output so these are the options which you might not be touching uh, especially because these are something the recommendation from uh, the mind tree or the secure mind support comes up and uh, the remote view if you have a central management server from the central management server you can actually uh, you can add this camera as well so that you know from the central management server you can access all the cameras so this is the storage configuration the space being utilized or allocated the local display camera and then the advertisements that you know you open up the camera what do you want to see or something like that the logo and uh, this is what the important feature is uh, maybe you know this is where you actually add the camera licenses as you can see there is one camera license right now permanent and you can upgrade if you have multiple cameras and you have purchased licenses and uh, the analytics of the camera any other feature let me see live view all right nobody is moving boy so uh, unfortunately so uh, I'm not able to you know show you somebody is moving from live view but yes that is what uh, that is how the live view looks like um, and uh, I've just opened up the console again see now this time it has loaded perfectly fine and uh, if you face any you know issues while loading the live view uh, you know those are the things which I've told you have to check and uh, the camera is online I can see right now this is pretty much about uh, the Secure Mind Surveillance Manager. Thank you so much for watching.